Good Wednesday morning. Hey, it's Wednesday when you're watching this, but it's only five minutes later than when we recorded Monday that we're recording this. Thus, you still hear our neighbor. It's a time warp. That's right. <laughs> anyway, welcome to Wednesday. Daily Office, and I'm Pastor Kurt, <laughs> and I'm Elizabeth, and we're in the time warp, and uh, not, really. not really, but so we're in Hosea 11 as we continue through the Bible. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son, but the more I called Israel, the further they went from me. They sacrificed to the Baals, and they burned incense to images. It was I who taught Ephraim to walk, taking them by the arms, but they did not realize it was I who healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with ties of love. I lifted the yoke from their neck and bent down to feed them. God's word for God's people. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. So in verse 4, it talks about ties of human kindness, and that is an image from weddings. Um, it was uh, this, this idea of love and kindness chesed in the Hebrew it, it's covenantal love mm -hmm. and ah now we can talk differently so um and this this gift of grace I find it interesting that uh Hosea uses that um as as the image here with the people were rebellious but God continued to reach out in covenantal love mm -hmm. So, how has God reached out to you in covenantal love? I wonder how people have experienced that. So, I, I thought it was a good question. So, how has God reached out to you in covenantal love? Um, we just had a new conference last week, and I posted to my Facebook today, Sunday, three days ago, when you listen to this, that... Um, as soon as the bishop reads, says, you know, all the appointments are set, then it's official that we'll be here for another year. And that's part of our covenant is to serve where God calls us and where the bishop appoints us. And so um, the bishop said, Lafayette Christ, you're stuck with them for another year. I don't know if stuck with them is covenantal language, but... <laughs> is that how he really said it? So maybe it was, thou shalt be stuck with them. <laughs> Stuck it. We'll go with stuck it. Because <laughs> that's so. Bad. It's more covenantal. <laughs> no. It's got it in it. But but our covenant is to stay and to serve where God sends us, mm -hmm. and it's something that we both take seriously. It's not just. And yay, we get to stay here. And and so we're going to be here for another year and another t chance, another season of ministry. So hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll see um, see some different things this year. No, some better things this year. We'll go with that. Enticably. Different. Oh, locusts and fire. <laughs> you don't want that. We've already had murder hornets. Let's skip that. And skip, go on to skip the murder hornets. How about, how about the campfires and marshmallows? We'll do campfires or marshmallows. That sounds like fun. Yeah. When should we do that? I don't know. Everybody bring your fire pit to the church. No. No? We probably have to get permission for that. Somebody call the fire department and then we'll... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Hey, we'll come up with some fun things to do. Yeah, this covenantal love, Stay though. Tuned. We love you. We're glad to be a part of yes. your life and the ministry here. Um, how else have you seen God's covenantal love at work for you? So, just something to think about. Help to talk about that soon. So let's pray. God, thank you for your love that never ends. Please help us to be mindful and attentive to the ways that you reach out your love to us. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you again next week. Bye. God bless. Bye.